Do you see how the shadows are moving to the left of my character? I feel like I'm trapped in here. Like it's a prison when you can't see outside of it. I would 1 million percent be rather playing the mobile version of the game. All right, Trippy. When I'm open, click X. Click it. I am a sharpshooter, you selfish bitch. If you pass to him one more time, I will slap the soul out of you. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but NBA 2K19 is not releasing for the PS3 and the Xbox 360, which will make it the first time that's ever happened for NBA 2K because you know they're all about the money. Apparently they see no money in even porting to those consoles anymore. I think part of the reason why that happened is because the Switch is doing so well in terms of sales. So NBA 2K rather focused their efforts on trying to get big on this platform. Still though, that now makes NBA 2K19 on the Switch the worst NBA 2K19 2K19 port in existence. If you guys remember last year, I tried out 2K18 on the Switch, but I think they got some new improvements for me today. Off rip on every single object on here. The anti-aliasing is insanely bad. The render resolution across the board is abysmal. The ambient occlusion and the reflection quality off things like mirrors and glass is just piss poor. I genuinely can think of PS2 games that have better quality. Now, I don't blame 2K for this because they've proved to us in the past that they can make good looking games on the PS4 and the Xbox One. As outdated as those consoles are and as bad as that hardware is, the Nintendo Switch is even worse. The Nintendo Switch purely survives because of its first party games. It's unprecedented, which makes it challenging for third party games like NBA 2K19 to optimize properly for this console. The hardware is just too bad, so how do they fit everything in there just to make the quality worse? I made myself, I think, a shot creating sharpshooter about six foot eight, minimum wingspan, minimum weight for this character. Playing this game on the Switch feels like playing Black Ops 4 on the PC, but because your PC is sh you have to like reduce your render resolution to like 25 just to get 60 frames per second. There goes 70 Canadian dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna assume medium latency, so I'm gonna throw on my medium latency jump shot. Yo! I want you guys to pay close attention to the character. This is anti-aliasing 101, to the point where they can't even do shadows properly. Do you see how the shadows are moving to the left of my character? Do you see the white outline around my character as if they put a stroke around him? Look at the railings. You can't even tell they're straight, they look bent. All right, so let's take a look at the rest of this place. I hope it's not dead, man. I really wanna get some games in. Because the hardware on the Switch isn't really much good, they can't show you the inside of any store, it would break the console. It would combust into flames if they tried. There's no better example of how poorly optimized this game is on this console. And of course, the ever so obnoxious Gatorade music. I feel like I'm trapped in here. Like it's a prison when you can't see outside of it. Hey, Willie, come here. Okay, look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> yes! We actually have a game going on, man. Do you think you're gonna wanna play with me? I'm wearing a brown shirt and I'm an 85 overall. He's an elite one. Can you believe there's, there's people grinding on the Switch? Nah, everybody that plays on this console is shite. I could just tell based on the gameplay right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's see what I got with default animations. S! 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 H! H! I said it, bro. I said it. There's no game chat, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly what I like to see from a full price product in 2018 How do you know? dropped by a AAA developer. Look at the character, my guy. Come on, man. He looks like a block made from the PS1. Hey, let me carry, ladies and gentlemen. Let me do my thing, man. All right, man. Let's get it. Play some defense, purple hair, bitch. Trippy brings the ball up the court. He actually hits a couple good crossovers. Hey, I don't even need to say it. You guys should just know the latency is out of control horrible on this game. I don't even get why they dropped this version of the game. It's a handicapped version of the full product, but you're paying full price for it. All right, let Agent do his thing. Let me sauce on him real quick. Hold on. Some left stick cheese. Pull up. I got to bounce back. Come on. I He's going to drop set me. He's going to fade. Get out of here. Is he a post score? Oh, you know what I just noticed? This game is not running on 60 FPS. It's running on 30, which is crazy when you think of how low they've dropped the graphics. You'd think they'd at least be able to get 60 FPS. There's no way this is 60. I don't even need a number to tell me. Move out the way. You're just running into me. Is that your fucking strategy, buddy? I'm wide, I'm wide, I'm wide. You don't want to pass, though. You don't want to pass. You're so selfish. Garbage ass player. I'm not passing to him no more, I promise. Horrible render resolution, insanely high latency, 
30 frames per second. Wild anti-aliasing. Reflections are non-existent. There's zero ambient occlusion, does not exist. Can you imagine spending your time doing this? And I'm not joking when I say it, I would 1 million percent be rather playing the mobile version of the game. All right, Trippy. When I'm open, click X. Click it. I am a sharpshooter, you selfish bitch. If you pass to him one more time, I will slap the soul out of you. Pass it back, pass it back. He turned it over! They need to drop a Switch with like higher performance, kind of like the PS4 Pro. They need to call it the Switch Pro or something and give it graphics cards that are less than 10 years old, Jesus. Spin move inside. Do I get it? No. Can you get out the paint, buddy? You're kind of clogging it up. I'm wide in the corner. You don't want to pass? I'm not even going to ask any questions. I see you down in the paint. Let me do a hop real quick. Do your thing, man. Hey, there we go. That's how you play team basketball. I'm wide, but he's gonna, is he going to click X? I highly doubt it. Look at this dribbling bitch. Man, I hope your whole player corrupts, bro. I really do. What servers do we have available on the Nintendo Switch? This is a fantastic question. I didn't even think of that. This game. Good defense, purple hair. Good stuff, buddy. Just imagine for one moment that you have $60 and you're thinking of purchasing a game. Now, you could buy Super Smash Ultimate, which so far, fantastic game. I'm loving it. You could buy NBA 2K18, which I'm convinced is literally the exact same thing. You could buy Legend of Zelda. You could buy Fire Emblem. You could buy Mario Kart. There is so many fucking titles of games you can buy, ladies and gentlemen. So many of them. But nah, over here, man, we make poor decisions on this side. There is a problem with your connection to our services. No, there is a problem with your shit services. So they got my league, uh, and it seemed like they have all the features in there. They got the my GM, the start today, the, the season, the playoffs. They have play now, they have play now online, they have blacktop, they have play with friends. So all those features exist. Hold on, man, let's open some packs. This is how my team YouTubers feel all the time. I'd be broke if I was a my team YouTuber, just fucking pulling out my wallet every video for a pack opening. I'd be so mad. Hold on, bro. We got Wesley Awundu. We got Kawhi. I don't even want to see the rest of them, bro. We have Kawhi. In terms of features, it really has it, right? They got triple threat, domination, challenges, freestyle. You can play multiplayer, do all that stuff online. You got the market, the auction. So they didn't skimp out on this part. It's not like they gave us half of the features of the original game, the game that you should have bought with your $70, $60. But here's where I'm struggling. Do you guys remember when I did the video playing the PS3 version of NBA 2K18? That game kind of took the best things from the NBA 2K franchise and put them in one game. And so while it did look very dated when you looked at the actual gameplay, there was a lot I liked about it. It had the 2K13 My Team, the 2K16 Shot Meter, 2K10 Sound Effects, 2K11 Gameplay and Player Models. It had all the best things I enjoyed about 2K in one bundle. This game right here is running on 30 FPS. The quality across the board is piss poor. And while it has a lot of the features of his PS4 and Xbox One counterpart, it just can't be matched. I'm not playing a game that's 30 FPS in 2018. I refuse to do it. If you're gonna get yourself a shit version of the game, at least buy the game on PC. But you know what? You can watch the latest 2K TV episode. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this, man, but I think watching 2K TV is the most enjoyable thing you can do on the Switch version of the game. I guess the only benefit to buying this version of the game is that you can pull the Nintendo Switch out of its dock and walk around and play with it. But at that rate, and I'm being very honest when I say this, I would much rather just play the mobile version of 2K. So here's here's my rating of this game, man. It's a zero out of 10. Do not buy this game on the Switch under any circumstances. UK charts reveal that 2% of NBA 2K19's launch sales were on the Switch. So let's say they sell 10 million copies of NBA 2K. Just to think that 200,000 people bought this version of the game. It was probably like little Timmy went to GameStop when his mom pulled up to the store and was like, oh mom, please, 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 please. And she actually got it for him. And little Timmy should have been fucking distraught. Little Timmy was just, he went into a deep depression and was thinking just about existential issues and very, very deep and depressing thoughts because he realized he bought the worst version of NBA 2K he could have remotely bought. That's truly what I think everybody went to when they... <laughs> <laughs> they got the game. Anyway, I think this game should be struck in from my memory and struck in from history. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video, man. If you enjoyed, drop a like, click on one of these two videos here. If you haven't done any of that, honestly, I don't even like you like that. So it's whatever. I'm out.